to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by GhostBed.com. Ooh, James. Ooh. It's beginning to feel a lot like, like Christmas. Oh my God, no. Anywhere no. you go. It's cold outside today, I won't James. talk about Christmas yet. No, Malcolm X. Thanksgiving is my Super Bowl. It and is. And I will not overshadow it with early talk of Xmas. You got to take down those Halloween decorations outside, though. You know? Yeah. Put them up by myself. I'll take them down by myself. That's how it works, huh? Wow, 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 That's how life goes. I lifted maybe a 1,000 pounds worth of pumpkins. Oh, did you? In and out of the car. In and out of the house. In and out off our front porch into the trash can. Yep. So I feel like I did my part. Mm Mm-hmm. I feel like I did my part with that. Yep, you always do. Um, I I feel good about that. I feel real good about that. But uh, no, it's cold. So and sure. it's the sweatshirt. So if, if you're watching on YouTube uh, or s- just subscribe on YouTube, we combine with Drinking Bros. We got a media network. We get some big news coming here. We're signing some contracts in the next couple of weeks. And uh, we got some big ones, but we're all on the same YouTube channel now. We're trying to create our own network. So if you watch Ross Patterson Revolution, uh, switch on over to the Drinking Bros podcast. It is on there. Now, James, and you'll see, you'll see. I got the BRCC sweater out today. I love it. Or uh, hoodie. I shouldn't say sweater. They should make ugly Christmas sweaters, though. I saw. Do they not? They don't, and I'm surprised. Yeah, me too. I, I saw a really great one yesterday. I could see Jared all up in one of those. Oh, yeah. I saw a really great one yesterday. What? Epstein didn't kill himself. Um, and Again, it's got his I'm, face I'm on into it. the fact that we keep talking about it, and we're keeping it in... In the conversation. Here's why I think really it's, anymore, yeah. it, was, it was kind of shocking. Okay. It's still a little jarring to see Epstein's face on a sweater. Stuff. Just stuff, yeah. Anything. Yeah. And I get the joke, and I get the meme, obviously. And I think totally. it's fucking hilarious. Totally. However, maybe not put his face on a t-shirt. Or yeah, a, maybe um, just say shirt. it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that mug shot still... It's very. You're like, uh, it's the same feeling I get when I see Jerry Sandusky's shit. Ugh. And Ohio State is playing Penn State soon. I, I got in a little tussle with some fucking people from Penn State. Um, we have beaten their program the last two years, mm-hmm. down by three scores, came back and won each game. And it is, there is nothing more heartbreaking than that. And trust me, I'm a Falcons fan. I know that 23 right. was still the worst, right. one of the worst things in my life. Whenever a Penn State fan tries to take it to the edge with me, mm-hmm. well, I always pull Sandusky out of my back pocket. Do you? Say, hey, man, no matter how rad you think your program is, mm-hmm. you will never escape a guy who raped so many children that they had to physically tear down the showers out of your university. Right. Uh, that usually shuts down the conversation pretty quick. I would say, is it right to do it? Mm. Eh. Probably. Probably not. Probably. Um, things get aggressive. Sure. Yeah. I, I believe the gentleman yesterday said Ohio State got their teeth kicked in by like Purdue or something last year. I was like, we lost one game. I'm not going to. So if you want to start. And to, to teeth getting kicked in, you responded with the to... Sandusky? Yeah, 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 oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Something yeah. I'll never escape. Uh, uh. Anyways. Right. As I, as I pulled up the article Sports. to yeah. paste to this post. Is I, I wanted him to know that, uh, that uh, you know, numerous articles were written about tearing out a shower out of your university. Right. That mugshot popped up from Sandusky. And mm-hmm. it's the same feeling I have when I see Epstein. So, like, when I saw that sweater yesterday, I was like, oh, God damn it, man. I get the meme, but I don't need but to see that I guy's face everywhere. I don't need to see the face, for don't sure. Need to see it. I don't need to see Sandusky's face. I get it. I'm all good with that. So, yeah. You know, but the, they're selling the shit out of the sweaters. Dan bought a shirt yesterday. Kirill's selling them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. It'll be funny. He I bought mean. one. I think it's just words, though. I don't believe it's his face. Okay. That so, I can get behind. Yeah. yeah. 
But I think that one's going to last for a while, and especially if she, if, if she ends up running. Man, they're going to bring that out. Mm. That would be one of the only, one of the major reasons not to, right? <sighs> you won't be able to escape it. 90. There's 90 million she reasons She clearly at this doesn't point. care. Wait till that FX series drops. That's going to be a f- banger, too. Which FX series? The Monica Lewinsky one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's going to put it front and center. And, like, the ratings of that will be massive. It's Ryan Murphy. It's going to be huge. And you forget a lot of things about it. I think we just focused on her and the impeachment and stuff. But there were so many other fucked up things. Oh, yeah, Like, once you really rehash it, like I said, I went through that whole podcast that they did a deep dive in it. And you're just like, oh, my God, dude. Yeah crazier than now who is it paula jones was the other mm-hmm. yeah oh uh, she was the one who said she got raped yeah well there's a couple yeah dating so, back to all like back to his governor or what was he first even an attorney yeah in he, was, he was governor of uh, arkansas yeah yeah Maybe so like attorney. there is allegations that were quieted down all the way back then full-on rape cases well We'll see what happens, but uh, we got a lot of messages saying, hey, man, is it possible for he, her to even jump in the race at this point or in March or whenever? And the answer is yes. Uh, so last night, uh, a, a candidate jumped in, a, a new one. Is it Bloomberg? Yeah, Michael but Bloomberg. But he, he did it on the deadline. Mm. I don't know how so that I, works. He said, they said that he was... Entering the race right before the deadline of today or tomorrow. Huh. So if there's a deadline, then how it, can you? It, I, I don't know. There's always a way around it. Okay. Is there? I don't know why he would do this other than this feels like a Howard Schultz 2.0 to me. You're not going to. You're way late to the party, homes. Like everybody's gone you home. You think? Or is it smart to let these people kind of dig their own graves and then you come in I, like so a fresh new hero? I would say if you're Hillary, you no, wait it you're out. fine. No, no, no. I, but I'd say if you're Hillary, you're fine, right? I don't know that people know Bloomberg that well. Yeah, no, unless you're a New Yorker, right? Yeah. That's like, I, that's all I, it, it, like, all I know him from is, is New York and I know about his businesses and I know he's a businessman, right? I don't know. I really don't know anything about him, um, who he's married to, anything else, or what he's been doing. So, when they showed him, it's too late for him. I think. Yeah, Uh, this is too late. You know. Um, Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Like I said, I'm sure his people are saying exactly that. Like, you know, everyone's falling. Yeah, and you're gonna come up as like. It leads me to believe. That it's got to be some publicity for some book or something else. That's what Schultz, oh, Howard Schultz was. Remember, was he was doing it? that book. Yeah. And, he, you know, his life story and blah, blah, blah. So, eh, I don't know. I don't know, but I know this chicken sandwiches are back at Popeyes. Ooh. I, have you, I, I'm going to be, I'm going to be realsies here. I have not had this sandwich from Popeyes. No, me neither. Is there a, Jamie, is there a Popeyes that exists here? So no. So no. Okay, great. Hour away. Mm. I, actually, I'll be in Fayetteville. Um, Give one a little try. I will. Oh, shit, I'll be there in a week, actually. November 14th, I'm giving a, a speech. Um, I, will, I will try that sandwich. People are stabbing each other, killing each other over these sandwiches. Running into Popeyes. Some lady ran into the Popeyes with her car. Yeah. Desperate for a sandwich. Desperate for a sandwich. Is it that fucking good? I will let you know. Because it's, look, it's Chick-fil-A, spicy chicken sandwich versus this. Obviously, I've had numerous Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwiches. Sure. Numerous. So I will, I'll I'll be able to tell you yay or nay on that. Who's the real winner? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be able to give you an honest answer, you know? From the streets. (laughs) From the streets. Is there one in uh, Raleigh? Check, yeah, because we'll we'll be there. Maybe we can get that on the way home. Ooh. Yeah. We could do a <laughs> we could do a taste test, a live taste test, brother. Yeah, we could bring it into the bar. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Bring in some we Popeyes. Should. Yeah, people may attack us. I guess mm-hmm. from what we hear, we'll find out. 
Um, but yeah, there's there's food that I would kill someone people over. What? Come on, come on, James. There is definitely like I can name a lot of things. Filet of fish and McDonald's. No. Yeah, God. your favorite. No. You love it, dude. No. You give me extra tartar. You always go extra tartar sauce, ma'am. No. Yeah, you do. There is uh, what's that? Three in Raleigh, great. Let's do it. Bango. Live taste test. Bango. We're doing it then. Tomorrow we'll be hungry. Night. We'll be hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think from the game hungry? Yeah. I'm I'm curious to see how your little body holds up tomorrow. <laughs> Not good. It's not gonna be good. It's gonna be forty. Forty where's and your, an uh, all day drinking sitch. Yeah. Where, where's your mind at at forty? Forty. Um. If I'm bundled, bundled. Yep. Beanie. Or bundled D. Bundled D. Bundled D D. Like a little Humpty Dumpty. Yeah. Right. Sweater, coat, scarf, beanie, gloves. Yep. You You'd know, right. long johns. You rocking LJs? <laughs> James, is that what you're doing? I just don't like the cold, the coldness on on my bum. Yeah. When you're in a stadium, there's some met, there's lots of metal around. Right, right. No, we, we we get the good we get the good seats. Okay, we get the good seats in this one. Then uh, no uh, no LJs. No LJs for yeah. you. Um, I, I it, man, it's gonna be weird, and I'll tell you why. What we were supposed to go to that Bama LSU game. Which is the the game of the year? You were supposed to go to that. Yeah, yeah, we were supposed to go to that. Uh, we were supposed to go to Bama LSU game, but they put it on in the afternoon. Okay. Trump is going. You said no. Well, here, so dice. It's two thirty. This is going to lead me to another rage sesh. It's it's two thirty local time in Alabama because mm -hmm. they're on Central Time, right? Mm -hmm. Trump is going to the game, which g going through Secret sec uh, Service, brutal. So that's that's a one p.m. or. For those out there, you better walk into that. If you're going to that game, walk in at one. That is an hour. You are an hour in line going through Secret Service. There is dogs, so <laughs> if you're bringing weed, be careful or any Who other would? drugs. Everyone. Everyone brings weed to games now. Um, you're good, though, with a vape pen. I'm going to tell yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. Just don't bring flour. <laughs> okay. um, Who would? Know that well. I there was I'm not gonna say who this was, but there was one person I, I went to a game with with uh, where the president was there, and I was like, "Hey man, you gonna risk that weed pen?" Because I didn't know, mm -hmm. you know. And I was like, "You you gonna risk that weed pen?" And he goes, "Well, be a shitty game without one." And I started dying laughing. I was like, "Well played, well played." Fair, that's so fair. He got through. They didn't give a shit about the weed pen. They were looking for bombs or guns or whatever, right? Yeah. But be prepared for that. The reason why we didn't do that game was because of setup time, trying to get in and out of there, and then go to the game and, and tailgate and all that shit. The one we pre-booked, because we were positive, positive, that it was going to be the night game, um, because this, the game we're going to tomorrow is the night game. It's Clemson, NC State. It is a 33-point spread, which is, it, it should be a shithousing. We should not be covering that game. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have a blast because some drinking bros have a bar and we're doing a live show from there and all that stuff. But uh, shouldn't be covering that one. That's why it's going to be weird. Uh, but it happened to Ohio State, Penn State, which we had already pre-booked. And they put that fucking game on at noon. We're going to have to do a live show probably at 8 in the morning. I don't know if... College game day will even be there for that? No. Fox is doing it because, so the game's on Fox, and, and a lot of people have hit me up, so I'll just answer this question of why are they doing this. Is it, it seems like a lot of the great games this year are on at noon or 3.30. They're doing it for ratings. They have this shitty pregame show on Fox. Um, now, granted, Urban Meyer's on it. He's only going to be on it this year. Let's face it. He's going back to coaching after that, hanging out with those fucking dicks on that set. So he's out of there. Um, but they're trying to get the ratings for the pregame and then roll into the noon game, right? So you don't turn the channel. And will it work? Probably. Um, but it's a fucking shitty fan experience because we want to get rocked, right? right. We want to be loud, 8 o'clock, under the lights. When you're drinking all day and then you roll into an 8 o'clock game, things get nasty. Blammo. Things get 
fucking nasty. Mm-hmm. And that's what I wanted. Right. Uh, that's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Problem is we're pre-booked. Right. For that game. And uh, yeesh. Yeesh, James. 8 a.m. But what, it, what it, this is preparing you for tomorrow is that game. So if you can handle the 40, you'll be able to handle the Ohio State-Penn State game more than likely. What will that be? Oof. I don't, I, I don't At know. At noon? At noon you should be fine because yeah. that will be mid-afternoon. Yeah. Nights. Yeah, well, you're right. it's not a night game. You're so. right. <laughs> you're right. Although there was snow in Columbus, Ohio this week. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, weird, right? And we were, you were watching uh, Kelly Ripa and Seacrest. Yesterday? Yeah, and they were talking about how it's supposed to be one of the snowiest winters up there. Mm-hmm. And she was not amped about it. No, she's not. I mean, it's, it's November. Yeah. I haven't seen snow around Thanksgiving in a, maybe ever. What? I mean, not around us. No, but I, I've spent, a lot of my relatives are in Ohio, so I've spent some, some holidays up there. Uh, it is nice, though. I like it. We're not going to get that. Seacrest is my boy. Is he really? He's quickly becoming my boy. I know you have experience with him a long time ago. I don't he's know. He's from I, your hometown. He's from Georgia, yeah. So he was our local DJ back in the day. But I think he's from like specifically like Alpharetta, right? Yeah. 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 He's, so he's, he was our local DJ f- yeah. for, you know, when we were growing up. And he's fine. It's just... I wanted to see that gig go to someone else. Who? I think my top choice for that, that, that Kelly Ripa, I, I liked Jerry O'Connell. Yeah. And he seemed into it. And, you know, it's, it, maybe Seacrest is coming around now, but there was a while where, fuck, man, he's 900 gigs. And it's just like. Yeah, he was coming in tired a couple, yeah. a couple of the days. But I think. I think they fixed that or they told him to ship shape, ship, ship, shape it up or something because he is on it, in it. Or, you know, it it could be, I don't think he's, he has to fly cross country anymore for American Idol right now. Right. And I think he does his radio show in New York. York, So he's just a busy guy in New York who has like an awesome apartment and dogs and a girlfriend and whatever. Like, wow. What? girlfriend <laughs> Come on. I mean, he has a girlfriend a whatever nice that means he has a girl a nice that lives with him takes yeah. care of his dog sure a nice little beard sure but yesterday he was talking about he does kind of these things quietly like um charities mm-hmm. so he we went to the children's hospital a long time ago and realized that their biggest issue was trying to distract themselves from being sick you know what I mean? And not just sitting around watching TV or whatever. At the children's hospital? Yeah. yeah. At any children's hospital anywhere. Mm-hmm. And he and his family, his mom, dad, and his sister got together and were like, what can we do? What should we build here? What should we do for them to have like an activity at, at all of these children? So he's gone around and built media studios. So it's a full on radio set with everything in there dude that's awesome and they can these kids can like do radio shows and learn like media and all of this stuff and so they've built these things like all in all these children's hospitals he was talking about the anniversary of like it's been going on for a really long time and i think he does all of these things kind of quietly because he does work really hard he has a lot of money yeah he's a i I will say this like overall i was like oh Overall, he's a good dude, yeah. and I know he got uh, me too. Uh, f- that was bullshit. It was. I th- and it's like because of how him in particular, how high powered he is, and like, man, there is not one single person in town who's ever had one bad word to say about Seacrest. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. Um, and he's too busy for that shit, dude. Yeah, like he was single, probably. He definitely probably hit on a makeup artist. But that was back in the day when we didn't draw those kinds of lines of like just a guy trying to get laid and then someone abusing power and raping and all these different ways of thinking about it. Right. Yeah. It's just th- th- that whole thing with him was was uh, that sucks. I think and that's, there's that's a why reason it why it very quickly went, went down away, yeah. is because a there wasn't any like corroborating testimony or anything. Nothing yeah, else had, had nothing ever 
come out like they didn't have other people that were like, yep, that's how he is. Mm-hmm. It was just this one person, isolated thing, and he was able to be like, that's not who I am, and and kind of just move past it. Again, you're right. When you're too busy for it, it's like, pff, yeah, I'm going back to, I have to go to work. So yeah. you guys like work this out. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You figure it out. He probably send it to his lawyers, publicists, whatever. I have to go to work to pay you guys. So just do what you got to do. Yeah. I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. Apologize. Give her money, whatever. Uh, I, I'm with you where it's just like with the schedule, it's like when you have time for this shit, like, Hey, you know? Yeah. So uh, kind of feels I, like if, that's if what Trump around, is doing a little bit. Yeah. Look, I'm busy. I'm busy. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. Let's just, let's just go to the Oh, next you want to impeach me? Cool. Talk cool. to these guys. I'm we'll, going to keep we'll, going. We'll, we'll figure it out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm fucking busy. It, it, yeah, Jesus, man. Uh, but he's he's slid past it. Look, I'll take your word for it. If he's good now, he's good. I just one of the first couple of months he started, he was tired. You know, yeah. And he just didn't seem like he, he didn't want to be there. Yeah, which is weird because it's like, why wouldn't you? Yeah. That gig is. Andy Cohen was really good, too, when he, when he guessed it on there, too. So those were my he top two. But talk about not wanting to be there. So Andy has been co-hosting with Hoda. Because it hasn't been Hoda and Jenna since they both signed the contract. So for a year of Hoda and Jenna. That's right. I haven't, I haven't seen It hasn't her, been yeah. either one of them together yeah. the entire time. But hey, what yeah. are you going to do? They still have a job. They uh, signed, Jenna signed that contract uh, probably when she was like two months and was like, let me hide it until I can. Yeah, then you're not going to say anything. <laughs> and then you can be like, surprise, yeah, I'm yeah, pregnant yeah. as soon as I got this big million dollar gig. <laughs> um, anyways, no shame. Do what you got to do, girl. Like they, they weren't they wouldn't have given her the job. And that is a fucking fact. It's shitty, but it's true. Probably. Right. Um, if you're going through people trying to trying to be with Hoda, right? Mm hmm. Jenna's pregnant. You wouldn't give it to her. No, no. You'd move I, on to somebody else, and that's again as shitty as that is. It's the truth, and she fucking did the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know. There was a friend of mine who got hired on a big thing. And she, a friend of ours, who, who was pregnant, and uh, that became a conversation. It, it is a conversation. Like, hey, it's always a guys. conversation, and it's shitty, but it's just facts of life and i know that's why a lot of women are pissed you know that's the main thing of it uh that we get looked at and treated differently if you have kids or if you're pregnant yeah it's just the truth and i the thing is like i just don't think that's ever gonna change yeah i look ever no no matter Uh, how many women are up there every girl on the today show is freaking pregnant at this point no matter how many things you see like that in the real world, in the real workforce, no. Once you're pregnant, they will move on to someone else. Dunzo. Dunzo. Uh, you know who I thought was Dunzo, who's, who's not, is Megan Kelly. She's making a comeback right now. She's got yeah, that movie are. coming out uh, mm-hmm. at Christmas which, mm-hmm. with uh, Charlize Theron. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be up for a who bunch of- Who looks a lot like her. Uh, dude. Whatever they did, pull, ding, ding, da, da, like. Crazy, right? I think they just pulled her whole face up. Fucking or something. crazy. I, I didn't know it was Charlize Theron. It looked, yeah. so, it's, it looked so much like Megyn so Kelly. So much like her. I didn't know it was Charlize Theron. Um, so Megyn Kelly produced that, and then she did an interview today. No, she didn't produce it. Uh, the movie? Charlize Theron. Oh, I'm sorry. Charlize Theron. You're right. Correct. Um, I, th- I bet you they threw Megyn Kelly a fucking producer credit. I don't think so. Was it her book? Was it based on her book or no? no? Gretchen. Ah, uh, Gretchen Carlson. Yeah. Gotcha. So I think at that time too, when they were no, doing you're right. the it, movie, Megan was not a. Uh, uh, she was a persona. Non grata. Non grata. Well. So um, no, I actually do not think that they gave her a producer credit. Not. Yeah. But, they, they but Charlize Theron did, and those around. she yeah, was yeah. definitely involved, just not uh, publicly. I wonder. I wonder what she thinks of that because she looks identical to her. Uh, Anywho, Megan Kelly's back with uh, she sat down uh, with that fired CBS staffer who leaked the uh, the ABC thing with a hot mic for Epstein for uh, mm-hmm. Amy Robach. So we'll see. We'll see what uh, this interview is going to be like. If and she why doesn't she did go it. far right in whatever the next thing she does. 
it's not possible for her to come back. But um, she can definitely, I think she can definitely come back in like a hard, far right situation. So here is the deal with this, and I didn't know it um, because this is breaking news and it's just kind of coming in right now. Uh, the, the, the staffer's name is Ashley Bianco. She's 25, mm-hmm. but it says she's an Emmy winning producer. Um, she contacted Megyn Kelly directly mm-hmm. to do this interview. Mm-hmm. Um, she said she was fired from CBS on Thursday, uh, which is obviously last night, um, mm-hmm. after the network was informed by her old employer, ABC, that she was the one who would actually leak the footage mm-hmm. of uh, Robach. Um, Megan Kelly said, look, man, uh, she's joining Instagram, same as McConaughey. Did a whole welcome to Instagram thing. Who did? Megan Kelly, I guess. And uh, she said, I have a feeling you'll be interested in my first post. And this interview is supposed to be her big comeback here. Now, where, where that's going to be and for who, I don't really know. Hmm. But uh, it would be really interesting if it were to be at Fox. I don't think it would be at ah, Fox. Ah, it's not. Hang on. No. Because this story is going as we keep going. I, I, hey, me personally, I thought Fox would try to back up the truck again to be uh, totally, totally real about it. Because Roger Ailes is gone. All those guys are gone. I know, but Fox isn't. Who uh, else is there? And, and that's, that was my thought. Who else is there, right? So now she has a, she's doing it on her own YouTube channel and on IGTV um, under Megyn Kelly. So it's just going to be under her shit on YouTube, I guess it's you know monetized. Mm-hmm. Ah, it makes sense. You get to keep all the money. Yeah, and I'm sure she has enough people. She has enough money. She was uh, when she got fired. She was making seventeen or eighteen a year from NBC for three years. So she got paid the full amount when they fired her. Right. Megan Kelly's fine on money. Yeah, it's kind of why I wonder. Why, why do you have to come back right now? But well, a lot of people do, and they just can't leave. Um, who was the last one? Uh, fuck, man, she was one of the first people to. It was Katie Couric. Mm-hmm. She came back on on an app, and they tried to make it a thing, and it just it didn't do well, and they spent a shit ton of money on it. Um, I think the world has changed since then, where it's like, look, podcaster. Bigger and bigger and bigger. A lot of people are doing video podcasts. We are. Um, maybe. Maybe this is the right time and the right avenue. It's strange, though, that it's YouTube. Like, that, that it's YouTube that has still been the tried and true thing. Like, o- all over this whole time, right? <coughs> Vimeo's tried to take over. Mm-hmm. I've had numerous offers from Vimeo. Mm-hmm. I've spoken with Vimeo a million times. They cannot get people to fucking watch Vimeo. Although... From a producer and a director standpoint, Vim- Vimeo is the highest quality. That is the highest quality you can possibly get. They're, it looks beautiful on their site, but mm-hmm. they cannot get anyone to watch Vimeo. Mm. Um, but YouTube, man, still there. Still there, even though they demonetize, take down, flag at like every turn. Everything. So Three interesting. F- uh, I don't know if Megyn Kelly will do... Uh, too great on there but we'll see three-fourths of our videos for drinking bros are, are always demonetized mm-hmm. on, on now mm-hmm. uh it didn't used to be like that i i would say this has probably happened in the last four to five months i guess uh and you might say oh you guys have had some controversial people and yes but then we've also had some inspiring people on and they flagged it and i tried to fight it um mm-hmm. the the terrorist whisper episode mm-hmm Guy, guy was tortured as a 12-year-old youth in Iraq and was just telling his life story. Nothing mm-hmm. crazy about it. What happened? I mean, I mean, nothing crazy as far as like, you know, no sexually explicit material or mm-hmm. demonetize it. And so I fought it because you can, you can okay. fill out a thing mm-hmm. and say, hey, man, this is beefed up. Right. This is real beefed in the jeans, you know? Mm-hmm. And they came back and said, no, we, we find part of this offensive. And I was just like, all right, man. Um, and what happens when that happens, oh, by the way, on YouTube, for anybody out there, is they don't put it in the columns. Or they don't suggest it as far as other interviews go and every other thing like that. So you, you don't get the eyeballs on it that you should. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
That's my problem with YouTube. But I know, look, again, again, it's private, so what are you going to do? Megyn Kelly's shit is going to be PG, though. PG, yeah, but... She's not going to swear. She's not going to swear, but that's not the only way to get demonetized on YouTube. I guess. You have to be talking about... But Rogan's beat it. Yeah. Rogan's beaten the thing. Like, there, there is people who have beaten this for mm. whatever reason. And mm. it's like, I guess, I guess your level of fame has a lot to do with it. So... You know, Megyn Kelly. Oh, they got pictures of this girl. This is not what I expected. From? Uh, the, the girl who leaked this footage from the uh, James O'Keefe thing. What does she look like? Just a normal, cute kind of college girl. Hmm. Where you're just like, eh. I would, I would have expected it to have been like an older white dude who's like a real axe to grind, you know? Right. It was just like, well, F you. F you guys, dude. You fired me. You went younger. I'm like, oh, she'll teach you. I'll, I'll give out all the hot mics we got. You know? Yeah. This is, this is not. This is like a happy, like, little white college girl where you're like, oh. Well, it's a very, uh, it is a young person's game, leaking stuff, especially in journalism. It's a young person's game. That's bad, man. Because people have been in, been in journalism for that long, right? They know you cannot do shit like that. That is totally against. I feel paranoid these days, do you? About? Conversations. Um, no. I do. I was in a conversation last night that people were saying some shit, and I was just like, I, I, I didn't even bother to jump in or whatever. I was like, man, if this was recorded, this is terrible. Like eh. at the poker game? Uh, no, S- somewhere else, but we can talk, we can talk about it off air. Uh, oh, okay. And uh, I was like, man, this, uh, if this is recorded, I can't say anything in this situation. I- yeah. I'm also to the point now, and this is just, just recently. And again, maybe it's just me. I don't know. There's even certain text messages that come in that I'm like, ah, that I all get, can't even respond with like a smiley, winky face. I've gotten, and, I've never uh, been weird about stuff like that, but I definitely am now. Yeah. I'm weird about what I put into text. I've received emails leaked from people and in text messages and all this other shit. And I'm just like, man, you don't know me. Right. If you feel fine sending this to me. Who else are you going to send this to? (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's not a great... I don't refuse to live in that uh, mindset. But every once in a while, I won't send a text or something. Do you know what I mean, I guess? Yeah. I I, I don't know. Because they're saved everywhere. Yes. Not just in the other person's phone, whatever. You're saved everywhere. Everywhere. Um, and it's strange, man. And now I'm, I, I am, I'll admit it. I'm starting to feel paranoid. Like about what I send or say, or, you know, I mean, I almost feel like patting people down. I'm like, Hey, we're cool. Right. I don't think there's anything wrong with only talking about that kind of stuff in person. I don't know. Whatever you're paranoid about, not sure what it is, but whatever you're paranoid about, maybe you shouldn't be saying it anyway. No, I, I Look, you can make a million offhanded jokes just to do it, you know? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, that's what it was, but you're like, ah, shit, I never gave two shits about this in the past. Right. Now you're like, oh, if this is recorded or screenshotted or whatever the fuck it is, like, yikes. There's a lot of people, and I think, is it your girlfriends that are doing it? You guys are all using these voice messages. Yeah, they disappear. They, and I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know any of this. Yeah. What's... Is the allure that they disappear just because, hey, there's no trace of it? Um, yeah, I guess. But you can always keep it. So, like, if the other person wanted to be, save it, uh, yeah. be sneaky, they save it on their side, right? Got it. Um, but it's almost like a, the Snapchat idea that you, like, send pictures that just go away. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. see it for a second, and then it's gone. And that, yeah. I like sending the voicemails for that. You you can say more than a text, right? Yeah. You get inflection. You get all of these things. 
uh you can talk i think for like two minutes which is a really long one but that's what my friends do um full two minutes they'll just go on and on yeah because you just press the button you're not talking to anybody <laughs> you know what i mean you just start looking around you're like oh dog you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, <laughs> you're just yeah. like whatever um but i guess it's good i like the you know I like the thing that it disappears. Yeah, and nobody knows you anymore. Right. And that and like WhatsApp, I guess, is the other thing that cheaters use. Cheaters. What's a che- what, like uh, cheating on in yeah. somebody's relationship? Yeah. Okay. So I guess WhatsApp is for that. And then I'm sure the voice thing is for that as well. Well, you don't have to worry about it because I don't know anything about technology. So. And that is the only reason. You're good on that, James. So romantic. No, not that. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that. I can't work technology. The system. Yeah, yep. yeah. yeah. So you're good. Yep. You're fine on that. You don't have to worry about any of it because I use four apps and that's it. But if I take a class. Yeah. Yeah. This is over. I just, I don't have the fucking time for it. I'll go back to the secret. One right thing. after the other. Do you know what I mean? Just like, no. Taking just the time romance. to l- learn. Romantic. WhatsApp or whatever, uh, like uh, I don't. Right, I, dude, I can fucking text you or I can. I call people all the time still. Yeah, and it's still a shock. I definitely call people too. Uh, we apologize, to like me and my girlfriends, when we call each other. We apologize, like sorry, dude, I was driving. I had to call you. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. It's weird. Because it's just like, oh, I answered. You called me. Why are we apologizing to each other? Now? I'd rather just talk to a human. Every single time than text her, yeah. you know? Yeah, you um, would. That happened today. It happened this morning. I was on the car and I was like, hey, I'm, j- I'm just going to call you. Like, I, I don't want to go back and forth with this shit anymore. Right. Just have a conversation like like, uh, like humans. Before the oh, robots with take your over. Friend, with yeah. your friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. my friends, yeah. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm done, I'm done with nine. Like, past four text messages is my, that's my over under where I'm like, Bro. Just when I start and I'll do it with myself too. So when I start texting and it's getting long, mm-hmm. delete call. Okay. A really long paragraph text message. Unless you're like quitting and you don't want to talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. You know? Or if I hate the other person. Uh you'll know if I hate you if I send you a really long text message. Really long? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Or I'm just like, hey man. Unless I'm in a you know, a fucking doctor or an airplane or something mm-hmm. like, then yeah, I'll just call you. It's just like, yeah, what's up? yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, dude? You know, here's right. the thing. If I don't want to talk to you, yeah, you'll get a fucking Great Gatsby. You'll get the first chapter of the Great Gatsby on a, on a text message. If you don't want to talk to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And I'll explain um, everything in detail, and say, great, we're we're all done with this. And then I'll usually give a thumbs up at the end, meaning this conversation's over now, and I'm not going to answer you. I anymore. do a peace sign. Do you really? That ends it. Oh, uh, peace out? When you go peace, like <laughs> at the end of whatever it is, that will end. <laughs> and girls like to do this too, go back and forth. And, and like we're having a really stilted, funny conversation. Uh-huh. And the last one with me is always peace. Peace, dude. Yeah. Or like, so funny. Have a good day, peace. Yeah. Done. I'm done. Yeah, I said Take a, me off the thread. I, I, just, I sent a black <laughs> thumb. You know, black thumbs oh, up. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're all done here. I'm good. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, tricks of the trade to be an asshole to your friends and your family. <laughs> <laughs> Tis the season, pro James. Tip, pro tips: How to not talk to people in conversations. Tis not be a good season. friend. Yeah. I did force you to go out and hang out with some people last night. You did, yeah. So that was the poker game you're talking about. I I uh, I did. I went I went and play. I haven't done anything like that in a long time. I usually work crazy hours, so like. Yeah, and if given the choice, I you will just like go upstairs and work or write. You're like, oh, I've got right. a little bit of time. Let me write or work. And yeah. It's like I had to force you to be like to go do whatever and- you have to do for the show, and then walk one block over and play poker with some normal people. I have some interactions with some dudes. Yeah. With some normal people, again, that, like, aren't in the industry, aren't in the, like, do you know what I mean? I, look, there is nothing but normal people here. My problem is time where I'm just like, oh, No, man. that you interact with. So you're either, like, on the phone with, like, 
the people that we're signing contracts with or podcast people or yes, whatever. E- even, and so, even the thing last night, right, where they were like, hey, why are you late? And I was like, well, I have to deal with L.A. And like there it's only it was five, like that call was at 530 their time. So it was just like, what am I going to do? I think it's, yeah, I think it's um, good to hang out with people that aren't in your bubble. I do too. Of this and what we do because it's I the whole fucking world. I know I feel super behind today. And I'm probably going to have to stay here really late. Um, because I should have worked and got my shit done last night. You fucking boned me, James. You fucking boned me. <laughs> Did you win anything? No, I fucking Loser. lost. Loser. I lost everything last night. Loser. Um, um, you did learn about a charity um, growing mustaches I for did. kids. Yep, mustaches for kids. Gosh, and what was the? What was it? <laughs> you grown a mustache for kids. So you just grow the mustache, um, and then the kids somehow benefit from the mustache. Yes, yes. I'm gonna look into it. Uh, I got an email about it. And, oh, uh, you did. Okay. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna learn about it before I, before I speak. You are going to grow a mustache, though, anyway. So, am, yes. might as well yeah. couple it. Couple it up for charity and do some things. So. Ryan Seacrest, it, you know? Does he have a mustache right now? No, he, um, he doesn't. But he grows a beard, I think, for November. Maybe he's in the process of it. Okay. He's a beardy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Both ways. Yeah. He's a beardy guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, is Hugh Jackman, yeah. big, big beard guy as well. Right. Big beard guy as well. Right. Uh, speaking of beards, we got some sponsors who pay for this fucking show. And we just keep chatting along about our lives together, skipping the sponsors, not paying attention. No, we just put them at a place that works for everyone, including them. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. That is the mattress of the future, and the future is now. 36-month pay-as-you-go program, no interest. Everybody's doing that. 38 bucks a month, that comes out to James. Yeah? Yeah, what do you got on that computer that you're staring at? Nothing. Probably nothing, right? Helen Mirren. Helen, oh, old H mirrors. Um, look, if you're uh, out there looking for your own Helen Mirren, you can lay her down on a ghost bed. Make love to a mirror. Make love to a mirror. Eesh, eesh, eesh. Fun fact. Um, that's the only person past 70 that every dude was just like, yeah, I'd give mirror a shot, you know? Really? Yeah. We, Not we, fond of? Everybody plays this little game of like gun to head if you had to sleep with somebody past 70. Not Who is Jane it? Fonda? It's Mirren. It's Mirren. I think people just hate Jane Fonda. Oh, like... Yeah. Her all her bullshit. She's pointy. Yeah, it's Very the whole thing. Pointy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's the whole yeah. the whole thing. Whereas Mirren was would... Mirren looks like she's a good time, you know. Sure. Um so uh either way, if you got a shot to sleep with Helen Mirren, you better lay her down on a ghost bed. If you're a military or a first responder, you get fifteen percent off of forever of everything in the store. Other than that, man, they're they're about to drop a banger. Of a uh, Black Friday deal. So you go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today and figure out your life. Get your wife a nice mattress. Next up, we've got strikeforceenergy.com. Boom, 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 boom. Shabloinkers. Shabloinkers. Strike Force. Put a little in my uh, kombucha today. I put the Ridge in there. Nice. I don't know if that. I don't know what that. Uh, does it kill the? What is this fungus or some shit? Huh? Who knows? I don't. I don't even know. A what kombucha? kombucha is. Yeah, man. I just drink. It's, it's mushroom. Placebo something? effect for me, where I feel fermented like, mushrooms. I feel like it's helping me because I travel so much, and then I always get sick. That it, I uh-huh. feel like this is helping me. I don't know if it is. I don't it know if I'm supposed to be putting strike force in it, but I am. Not be. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely might not be helping you. Find out. Find out, James. Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com today. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. They've got amazing flavors. Grape, lemon, orange, original. Grape, lemon, orange, and original. 10-pack, 40-pack, 750-milliliter bottle. Last five, lasts longer than five-hour energy. And uh, no carbs, no sugars. So it's great for the holidays. 
We can, what are you doing right now? You can pack on the pounds during the holidays. This is not going to be one of them. What is this like voice and attitude? What? <laughs> what is the voice and attitude? Of what? I'm starting know. to think about my life, about the kombucha it's life. It's good. It's good for the holidays. Yeah. I'm, th- I'm starting to think about that. the kombucha in the back of my mind where I'm like, man, is this fucking shit really at working? I have no idea, man. Yeah, but it can't hurt you, can it? I guess. I don't know. Sometimes my stomach makes weird noises and I'm like, man, is it because of all the fungus? I'm just fucking poop shooting down my my gullet look that's productive though i guess if it keeps if it keeps things going through flowing through <laughs> does it <laughs> i don't know i don't know i'm just saying that's a very productive thing look they're not a fucking sponsor so i can say whatever i want about them um i got tricked into this in la we'll see we'll see you know yeah, you've been on that booch train for a while, I think, at this point. I have, and it's like, again, is it placebo? If, I don't know. I point. never went I never went on the booch train. You didn't? No. Uh, I've Chris, gone on a couple, many other trains. One of my best friends, Chris, trains. got me yeah. on this, and I'm just like, man, I don't know. I've gone on the wheatgrass. Grape, yeah. The grape was amazing. Yeah, I've done the wheatgrass. I've done all that wheat shit. Wheatgrass train. I'm definitely on the ginger train. I just feel like nothing bad can happen from... From ginger. Can it? I was sick for like fucking six weeks. And I, I do this shit all the time, so I have no answer anymore. You know? Mm-hmm. Meh. So, could the kombucha be working? Is it bullshit? Who knows? Who knows? I had a guy make it in, in his bathtub once, and I drank a whole fucking tub of that thing. Yeah, and that's probably where all of your problems are coming from. I felt great. Now. Yeah. I felt really great. Oh, good. I felt alert. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a gift from a crew member. Mm-hmm. on a movie and i drank it every single day on set mm. uh, a lot of people said it was too pungent yep too uh Tasted like mushroom dirt sour yeah too sour would i like i, lo- I like it to sour oh. <laughs> <laughs> man uh, you're fucking stupid dude strikeforceenergy.com <laughs> promo code revolution 20 percent off next stop we've got straight razors.com Ooh, that's a clean cut. There it is, James. Smooth. Oh, you right, Yeah. That was a little filthy. He had a little dirt on it, didn't you? Oh, yeah. You had a little mud in those jeans. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James. Did that shock you? Yeah. yeah. It shocked people when I do that voice. Wait, do it again? I do it all the time. <laughs> I do it all the time. But I only do it once and I do it like out of nowhere. And usually right. I'll do it behind somebody. Yeah. If I'm like frustrated in a crowd of people and people start getting mouthy, you know, like the doors won't open or the train is not here or whatever. Mm-hmm. People start getting mouthy. I'll just I'll just bust it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then that's it. <laughs> and I will say nothing else well, about it. It's good at like it's a good thing to bust out if someone's like thinking that they're funny and like making jokes or whatever. <laughs> and like <laughs> they think everyone's laughing and you just bust out right after. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it at that Clemson game tomorrow night. <laughs> Every time they score, I'm going oh, to bust that out. Please oh, yeah. Oh, no. Beautiful no. team, TD. Oh, yeah. No, don't yep. do it. It's going down. Uh, straightrazors.com is also going down. Shave your face, shave your crack, shave your legs, shave your bush, shave your dog. Straightrazors.com. Yeah. Shave, shave that gooch. Yep. Uh, if you're worried about using a straight razor, they got safety razors. They also got shampoo, beard oils, conditioners, mustache waxes, and uh, shaving soap. Oh, yeah. Uh, get it at it, straightrazors.com. Promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off, JBs. Yeah. Um, where are you at? Huh? Where, where are you at here? With, uh, I don't know. Where are you at with uh, the movies here? Anything you want to see coming up? What? My parents movies? hit me up today, and they're like, hey, we're going to the movies this afternoon. Oh, yeah. They're seeing that Stephen King thing. No desire. No, I- no interest, no desire. I don't. Like, I'm trying to think of a movie, because they, they hit us up right before we went on air, and they were like, hey, we're going to do this thing. And they were like, do you want us to watch the kids tomorrow night? And I said, eh, maybe. You know? 
tomorrow night. Well, which was tonight. You know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. And I was like, they're going to bring them over early because they're, they're staying over for the Clemson game. And I was just like, eh, I'll talk to James about it. Oh, yeah, that might be good. And then we're like, we're going to the movies. And nice. I was like, ah, shit. And they're going to see the Stephen King thing. And mm-hmm. I was like, made me think to myself, I was like, man, there's not a movie I'm excited about. What a weird thing to say. Where are you at? Where are you Where at? Are you at with this? James? Where are you at with movies? I was like, I don't even know what Where you're you talking with, about. <laughs> um, Whenever we do these late Friday shows, things get weird. They get weird. I like and, you it. You know, it's just been like a long week, right? Yeah. Has it? Oh yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um. So the things that are playing, I maybe see the John Cena vehicle. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. I'm joking, dude. I, you, you, I'm joking. Are you He's saying that because worst. of my Facebook post? He's the worst. Night? I don't know what your Facebook post was. I'm, oh, my God. I'm sorry. That's really... I'm trying to do Facebook more, guys, no, but it's fine. I missed. You, know you don't have to. Just do the Ross Patterson Revolution one. I know. I know. But you know. I don't give a shit about your personal page. So I wrote- uh, I don't give a shit about your personal page either. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I you said it for. To. I said it second. Yeah, you did. You did. Um, so I, I la- meant it. Last night, I just wrote on there. I was like, long-haired John Cena creeps me the fuck out. And I'm tired it of it. It is creepy. And he Shave has, it, dude. Yeah, well, w- along with that hair comes this really, this new attitude thing mm-hmm. that he's doing. This new thing that he's doing where he's doing like a junket for this movie. Right. Doing all the press, doing all the interviews, whatever. And people will try and ask him questions about either his life or just normal stuff. And he has these canned inspirational. He's trying to be the white rock. Let me just say that. Yeah. He has these canned like inspirational things for every question, but they're weirdly timed and he's not quite smart enough. I don't think to put it in there in like a. A natural way, right? Right. So it's very much like I ask you about your hat and you tell me no matter it's what, black. you have to pull yourself up from your it's bootstraps a black, hey, if you can't. Ja- I'll tell you, James. Right. It's a black hat. You know, so, you know you, black symbolizes the power of the struggle and you've got to struggle. You've got to pull yourself up. You, you, we're all going to be yeah. a black hole one day. Yeah. So he just doesn't know. Does all that shit. I saw an interesting interview with him way, way back in the day um, and it. To me, it told me everything I needed to know about John Cena. Mm-hmm. And the interview is this. I believe it was on F- Fallon or Conan, whatever that time. You know that time slot, what I'm sure. talking about, right? Sure. I think it was Fallon when he was not at 11.30, late, late. probably yeah, 12.30. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, man, you're everywhere. It was wrestling, mm-hmm. you know? Um, everywhere you're doing the shit. What, what was the, was this all your hopes and dreams and everything? And it was just like, no, I just moved to Los Angeles. I just knew I wanted to be famous. I didn't know what. Yeah. Like, and that's how it used to be. Right. But, but here's the thing. I don't enjoy that answer from anyone. Like, being famous isn't a fucking job. And it, it doesn't mean you want, you're good at your craft, right? Yeah. Whatever that craft is going to be. It is honest, but it's shitty. It's a shitty answer. Like, if my kids said that to me, which I'm sure they will someday, because every child says that. Hey, I just want to be famous. Great. For what? What do you want to do to actually be famous? Mm-hmm. And he said he didn't know. Where it was just like, oh, you know, acting or whatever. Mm-hmm. However I could get in, I could mm. get in. And it's like, he's, he's in. He got in with the wrestling, right? Um, and he was great at it. The, yeah. His whole shit, his whole shtick, everything was good. I'll venture to say that's the one thing he's really good at. All this other stuff. Not so good at. Not so great at, but. I've never enjoyed him in a film. Never. As an actor. Never. Anything. Um, Not even as a reality star. He can't even say that shit naturally. Yeah. Yeah, um, and then the long hair thing. I my guess is, is why he did it because I got blown up when I posted that. Apparently, everybody was thinking the same thing I was. I was just like, "Yeah, hell yeah, thanks for fucking saying it." And I was like, "Well, I, my guess is this, right?" Because he's trying to be the White Rock, exactly like you're saying. Mm-hmm. And I think it's like, "Hey, if I have long hair, I can play different roles and all that mm-hmm. other shit." No, dude. You're still I fucking won't John look like Cena. like a wrestler. Yeah, he's he trying to change. Remember yeah. when he was in Blockers and he was playing a dad, but it was just like, you know, you had normal people who looked like actual fathers in that. And there's fucking John Cena in there. Just like ripped as shit. Jacked out as fuck. Of place. Looked like he could tear the Too arms young. off of all the yeah. fuck. All of it was just a mess. A mess. And then this firefighter movie that he's doing that's coming out. Same thing. It's like, dude, you're. You're John Cena around, and there's a bunch of people around you doing this. You're just walking around a movie. John Stewart had a great uh, analogy of his acting years and years ago. He was just like, 
they were like, man, you were in Big Daddy with Adam Sandler. Mm-hmm. Why don't you do more movies? Mm-hmm. And he was just like, eh. I just felt like I'm just kind of John Stewart walking around in a movie. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. Uh, for, you're right. J- uh, Jamie just popped in and said uh, Ford versus uh, Ferrari. That You're right. That is one movie I'm looking forward to. That's uh, Bale and uh, Damon, Matt yeah. Damon. Um, the John Cena movie I'm not looking and forward that's to. out right now. It is? Yeah. Is that out this weekend? Mm-hmm. My parents chose the Stephen King thing over that, huh? Well, your parents it. do a one-for-one one thing where, like, one picks one time and the other picks the other time. Yes. They never just choose together on one movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to see that uh, Ford versus Ferrari. I've been watching their interviews uh, this week, and I'm surprised it slipped my mind because they've been really funny, actually. Christian Bale and, and um, Matt Damon have been doing joint mm-hmm. press I'm conferences, seeing, yeah. joint joint interviews together. Christian Bale used to put up a front and, you know, oh, I'm a serious actor and yeah, I'm not going to give these. Yeah, he very mysterious. He wouldn't say a lot. Now he know? just does not give a fuck. And these interviews have been, like, really funny. And, like, uh, he was talking about Batman in one of them the other day. Mm-hmm. And it was just like, you know, uh, I was Batman, obviously. Right. Your best friend was was Batman too. But oh. I, I, I feel like I was really bad. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's Ben Affleck. Was, yeah, yeah, was yeah. Like, I saw ah, that. Way to go, Bale. Gotta- but he's just the best. Basically, like, am I interested in this Ford versus Ferrari movie? Not at all. <laughs> Do I like Christian Bale so much? I like Matt that Damon I would too. watch it. Yeah. Matt Damon seems like just like a dad to me now. Well, he is. He's a father of three or four. I think it's four. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Look, he's, uh, he's... Christian Bale has kids, too. Why don't I think of him as a dad, though? Do you know what I'm saying? There's a there's a switch that flips. Yeah. Where you could tell Matt Damon doesn't want to do shit, dude. He does not want to, like, leave the house. He does not want to... Uh, Jamie, will you let our guest in? Um, yeah. It, it's... Uh, He's one of those people that, I don't know, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't what? Maybe he just doesn't want to do anything, you know? I don't think he does. Oh. And look, four kids? Four kids a lot. And I, I don't know, I just think he, uh, he's just a dad. Yeah, yeah. So you can't, you can't get past this, is what you're saying. I would like him to play dad stuff. Like, I just don't, I don't want to see him doing anything else other than than that because okay. to me that's his complete essence now you know what i mean <laughs> his essence is dad maybe we'll see i'm i'm am to see this I'll, I'll i'll check this out but other than that i can't think of anything else that's that's really pinging my ball sack you know what oh I'm yeah no um no pings to get going so no pings know. in the sack um the, yeah the, the the what is it was something my parents are saying it's a Stephen King thing. I don't know. I'm yeah, not but it's like a prequel to The Shining or some form of that. Is it Doctor Sleep? It is. Yeah. Yeah. It's out. It's the it's 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 sequel. Oh, it's the kid grown up. Is what our, our producer Jamie is saying. I just don't care. That man. sounds awful. <laughs> I don't care. I just don't. I yeah. don't. I don't. Nope. Harriet's out. Oh, the Tubman movie. Zombieland two. H Tubs. H Tubs. Zombieland 2 would have interested me 10 years ago. I don't know. It looked funny. I like the first one. But it's so long ago, I don't remember. I, don't I have problems remembering what was in the first one. Do you? Uh, no. I'm, I, the, the gist of it is pretty simple. Okay. Right? Yeah. They're in a, an old amusement park, right? And zombies are coming after him, and it's kind of funny. And Woody Harrelson is there to like. Was Emma Stone in that? Yeah, so it was Emma Stone and Eisenberg. Is she back? Yeah, everyone's back. Oh, Harrelson, back. I even think Bill Murray probably pops in there. Ooh. So I've heard. So I think it's like the whole thing, you know. It's it's part two. Whatever. Did you hear he walked into a an airport and filled out an application for? Stop. Uh, like a Panera bread the other day. Stop. I love Dead him serious. so much. I love him so much. I would kill to be famous enough to do that <laughs> like to do all the dumb stuff he does i would absolutely do it i would do all of it i'm gonna, I'm gonna do you know what i mean 
I would do all his weird stuff. <laughs> I would like love it. <laughs> I would have a 1-800 number. Do it. I would do it. The no PF, social media. It was the P.F. Changs at the Atlanta. Yes. Air, at the Atlanta airport. That's what he did. Um, he Brilliant. Applied, he applied Brilliant. for the job um, and was promptly hired, obviously. And then worked a shift? Yeah. Oh, stop. <laughs> he said, I don't want to eat there. I just want to work there at the Atlanta airport oh my God. thing. Um, God damn it. That's really funny. Ugh. You know, you know, we told like. Uh, that's I, how Jared would be too, huh? You know who asked him and confirmed this is going to is going to make you pissed off. He went on Amy Schumer's podcast. He did. Yeah. Why her? Um, and he said, I did fill out an application at P.F. Chang's in Atlanta airport um, because I think it's one of the best places. Uh, he, he just replied nonchalantly. Yeah, well, I mean, it was just to work there. <laughs> the best. He goes, it looks like they're having the best time working at P.F. Chang's. <laughs> Promise you they're not, but that's cool that you think that. I don't know if it's a true story. That's the beauty of Bill Murray. Yeah, you I don't know. know. We've talked you won't about know. This before. You no. won't know. No. There are all these like legends and, and oh, I love it. I love um, it. I love by it the so way, much. I'm a huge P.F. Chang's fan. We don't have one here. We don't? Nope. I feel like we do. We don't have a Changers here. I feel like we have a Changster. It, not in this town. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I used to love a Chang. So. Um, yeah. Where did I work? Burbank? Burbank. They had the sweet, huge Changers there. Yeah. Um, I, I was uh, a frequent visitor to the one on uh, La Cienega in Los Angeles. Cool. Yeah. Really cool. I love the lettuce wraps, the whole thing. Oh, yeah. Lettuce wraps and then Start with the lettuce wrap, then I would go with it. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what Mm -hmm. I would do. Love it. Raleigh. There's another one in Raleigh. Jamie said. We have our weekend cut out for us. Popeyes. Changers. Changers. All the good stuff. Yep. All the time. By the way, Raleigh has like a pretty good food scene these days. So I love that we're going to Popeyes and P.F. Chang's and not some places like. Yeah, something sweet. Yeah. I like Raleigh, by the way. Great town. So do I. A lot of, a lot of cool shit going on in Raleigh these days. Oh, yes. Uh, I'm always excited to go there, but I'm even more excited to uh, dip my balls in a changer. In a soy sauce. Yeah. It's been, I put my balls right in a soy sauce. And then no I wasabi. It, and no wasabi. No wasabi, bro. And then I let it wrap it. I put some lettuce <laughs> wrap around it. And, uh, you know, I just, like to, I just like to feed it. I just Look. like to feed my balls out. Look, man. <laughs> this got weird today, James. Let's get to the revolutionary figure of the day and get out of here. Please. Um, this one is uh, this one's going out to uh, Paul Fleming and uh, Philip Chiang. Oh, Come on, you know they created founders, the Changers. Co-founders, huh? It's weird. It's a white guy and a Chinese person. It makes total sense. Is That's it really? the exact fusion of P.F. Chang's, isn't it? That's what I like, though. I don't like your... You'll attest to this. Is every time you watch those Asian food specials, you are like, I can't do that. Oh I can't my God. have a cooking uh, show. We there. watched. So David Chang is one of my favorite like chefs. Is this a joke? Huh? His name is Chang too. Yeah, David Chang. <sighs> His fucking brother PF. I'm part of the Yang Gang. Oh, anyway. Paul Fleming and then Chang. So they combine their names. That's PF Chang. Ah, smart. PF Chang. White guy, Chinese man. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, he went to, where did he go? Vietnam? Vietnam, yeah. With, uh, with Kate McKinnon. Yeah, homegirl. And every single thing they ate, it was just like, oh, God. Yeah. No. It was a big bowl of diarrhea nope. soup. Mm. And some with like f- little pieces of diarrhea in it. And they literally just dropped like Little a, pieces of like corn. A half a stock heirloom. of broccoli that's just hanging out. And you're mm-hmm. like, oh, there it is. And they're. Just like oh, this is the this is the best, and it was like a deer a deer blood yep. sauce, and they let it flow. <laughs> and right then is where I reiterate that my cooking show will have to be called Noodles and Butter. Yeah, and it's just you and eating it's noodles me and su- butter, searching all around the world. By the way, <laughs> so I will go to Vietnam, but this is the challenge: is that in Vietnam I need to find the best noodles, noodles and butter only, <laughs> and it's going to be a really it's going to be a challenge. Yeah. Yeah, it will be. Language barrier. I won't learn a lick. No, I won't, I won't, not one word. Not one word. It'll just be no. It'll just be me, Matter the way fact, that I look. You'll probably make up words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and I will just ask for noodles and butter wherever I go. And then the, you know, the last place that I find it. Yeah. Will be, I will. Uh, P.F. Chang's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It'll be back home at the airport once I get back is the only place that I'll be able to find it. And then you're so happy, and then you interview the chef. Oh, oh can you I know, me and I'm chef? just and in Atlanta like, Airport, just like, oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, my whole show is when I actually get back from the bullshit that I went to yep. and find good food. <laughs> it's you That's on a boat horrible. riding around, and you're just so there's never been fucking somebody, annoyed. <laughs> there's never been somebody that has wanted a travel cooking show more mm -hmm. than me. There's never been anyone <laughs> that cannot eat anything. anything. <laughs> That these people are eating on all of these shows. And that's the beauty Look, of it. It's the beauty. Maybe that, that should be your show of, of I just don't like your food. That's what it's called. I just don't like your food. Like you have it and you eat it in front of them and you're like, huh, I just don't like your food. Or they can cook me their food and I'll give them noodles and butter. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh my God. This is amazing. You know what I mean? This yeah, is yeah. amazing. <laughs> You're bringing your own stick of butter, too. Oh, yeah. And just knifing it in there. Mm -hmm. One of the noodles yourself. Now, make those noodles hot. This has got to This has gotta Ooh, melt. And you need a little bit of that starchy water in there, and you just like a yeah. tiny bit of heat. Whip mix it. Mix that up. Whip it Parmesan. Up. Yeah. Noodles and butter. Coming to a, a network near you. Yep. Coming to YouTube. Noodles and butter with Jabes. Yeah. <laughs> I also horrible. like the idea That's of, horrible. Eh, I just don't like your food. And yeah. You make them go through the whole thing, tell you the whole history of, of the dish, their grandmothers, their no. great grandparents, no, everything. I'm not mean. And then you, at the end of it, you go, oh man, that's amazing. I only have a taste. You know, I just don't like your food. No, I can't do that. That could be your cooking show because you're mean. <laughs> I can't be mean like that. I'll be like, yeah. So good. Oof. I would just tell him, like, uh, eating that food in Vietnam, I'd be like, this is going to run through me like a fucking Cat 5, bro. This is how I'll do my hair there. Yeah, you'll do your hair there? Mm -hmm. Just tied up just like, like that? Just like this. <laughs> <laughs> is it ZZ Top? Yeah, I'll just do this. Oh, if you're watching this video show on YouTube, that is something special, Javes. Oh, it's like a little... Yeah. <laughs> it's like a scarf. What if that was your new do, and you uh, were trying to pass that off on people? Welcome. Oh God! Welcome, world. Again, I re highly recommend, highly recommend you turn this on on YouTube for this because that is something <laughs> else, James. Well, you're bundled up. You're getting ready for that <laughs> cold weather tomorrow, Don't have James. A scarf? <laughs> I got one. Yeah, we'll be at uh, NC State Clemson live show at Instill Distillery tomorrow. Uh, ripping it up, but by the time this airs, we'll, we'll have already been there. So. Ripping it up and clipping it up. We'll see what happens. Uh, for Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs>